Man. That's all we did. Get 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 out get out of that. Come on. <laughs> Try to do like a thing here, but it won't leave the menu. Also fucking fuck fuck off. Twitch bullshit being like, oh, you just started streaming. I just wanted to hear about how you could unlock rewards on Discord. What you want to do, Jake? I'm like, oh, fuck off. I don't care. It's not. This looks like I'm using Discord right now. I am streaming about La Mancha Land. We're going. I also like how I have to keep bringing up the fucking Ishmael Zawai thing so that way the loading screens won't also then be spoilers. Very nice. Very cool. Hey, he's been named our favorite character, I guess. I, like, honestly forgot he ever got me. <sighs> I, so, I, I, I will say, this was my immediate hedging when I first got into this, because it's one of the only things that I knew about Don Quixote, is that there's the big thing of, like, Don Quixote is so delirious, Don Quixote uh, stabs a windmill thinking that it's a dragon, you know? It's like, the whole thing? Eh. If you'll notice, in the very center of this funky little land, this Ferris wheel is looking a little windmilly to me. Hmm. I don't know what they mean by that. I want this to also inexplicably be a real dragon, but I don't think dragons exist in fucking vampire land. Company <laughs> Jenk Chanewa And yeah, that's what the, the world map is. It's a map. Get it? The literal in-universe map. Isn't that fun? We have us, like, actually traveling around. That's cool. That's nice. <laughs> but not like that. Don't 
아니다. 너네 중한 명은 딱 이틀 정도만 살수 있을 정도로 만들어서 보여줄게. 너를 이곳으로 보낸 대장한테 그렇게 전해주라. 저, 자주 모아달라고. 아니면 이건 어떤가? 장치가 있는 위치를 우리에게 알려주면 고통스럽진 않게 처리해주지. 험악하게 말하는 놈일수록 맛도 기가 막힌다니까? 너무 재촉하지 마. 이벤트가 아직 많이 남았거든? 패션쇼도 할 거고 인기 투표도 할 거야. 너무 기대되지? 그렇지? 지금까지 이곳으로 온 객들과 토벌하러 온 자들을 그런 식으로 농락하였나 보군. 아, 제일 중요한 걸 빼먹었다. 그렇게 꾀지지 않고 여길 돌아다녀서 안 돼. 알겠지? 쥐새끼 같은 꼴로 여길 돌아다니게 하다가 들키면 나까지 혼날 거거든 아. 우리? 야, 잘 봐봐 Yeah, I like agree with Rodeon We have a very nice fit going on How dare you, woman 의상실에 전시해놓고 일주일 동안 골라 먹어야겠다 이곳에서 <웃음> Well then, I guess we've got some blood fiend proper moot to be start mowing the down to be. Yes. Aha! Eventually. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This is not like actual fights. Hey! Look at that. Yeah, I'm, I even I'm using this team. This is like the actual team I'm going through this dungeon with. It's ready. Like, if we come over here and just don't pay too much, like, we're over here now? I'm not even done yet. I don't know what's in here. I just haven't had time. You know it's bad when I haven't been able to, like, do this myself, you know what I mean? It's, like, part two is out, ready, willing to go, and I'm not done yet. We're just... Going on along as best we can. We're gonna go for like three ish hours again today. Hope we're definitely not gonna get caught up to where I am, and then I'll do the rest of it on my own time. We'll come back next time. God, by the time I'm like fully caught up on stream, part three is gonna come out. It's just gonna be non stop, isn't it? You gotta love when real life decides, oh, there's not even anything new in here. Fine. You know what? Fine. You guys want to not even open up with the Blood Fiend? I'll hit you with the full envy sweep. Look at that. God, it, with one heads, it almost a hundred to zero, that man. Yeah, that's exactly why the Envy team kind of has like a win condition. Alright, come on, give me something new. Nope. I, I know I was talking about the fact that it's like an envy resonance thing being like the funny haha meme, like, but it's like bad. But if you notice, all these enemies have like envy skills. Like, 
almost exclusively. They have a little bit of lust, but it's just a lot of, or not envy. Um... Wait, the envy's. I mean, gluttony. <laughs> they have a lot of gluttony skills. Like, gluttony resonance being, like, a do-nothing strategy. The green, you know? It's the funniest resonance team to make because there's nothing that synergizes with it, pretty much. You don't have a good gluttony nuke. Which sucks, because gluttony's my favorite because it's green and green's my favorite color. But, uh... All of these little bloodbag bastards, they, they, they love gluttony. With, like, a little bit of lust, but, you know. Ah, woman spotted the insane fashionista blood feed. She's not as much about gluttony. She's a lot of pride as well, and a little bit of wrath. You know, she's a bit more uh, well-rounded. A festival, festival, bleed, bleed, you know, bleed count, you know, usual stuff. But then we get down here where we can see that, oh, what's this, what's this little, uh, what's this little counter up here for? The blood feast. As we uh, learned about from the blood bags, it's a big ol' yawn. Ahem. Blood feast is, of course, anytime bleed damage is dealt, it's stored in the blood feast. So if you take five bleed damage, this thing will go up to five. For sets when moving to a different zone, this value is shared amongst all characters. If there is a kindred higher among the allies who also consume Blood Feast, this unit cannot consume Blood Feast until that ally consumes it first. A la the whole, like, parental, like, tier of Blood Feast thing. But this is, this is their main shtick. The more bleeding that is occurring, the stronger they become. Because... On use, consume up to 50 blood feasts to gain one blood-tinged scissor blade. Max value 10. Stage 1 blood scissor blades used for special skills. Uh, they really don't go into details of this for this woman in particular. Just know the more of this she has, the worse. You know, you want to keep this as low as possible. Without getting into the specifics, because it's kind of long-winded and user-dependent. But what really matters is to heal 3 SP for every 10 blood feasts consumed. On use of this unit, fail to consume Blood Feast, gain 5 bleed, and gain coagulated blood. Which for them is, like, actually good. Because it's like, uh, well actually she doesn't heal. Ah. Uh, normally a lot of these kinds of, uh, Blood Bean people, they heal on hit. So they normally are able to inflict themselves with bleed, because that will go into Blood Feast. And then when they hit you, they heal the damage back up, because it's only 5 damage, it's really easy to heal. So they're constantly feeding into their own Blood Feast. It's like, it's like very cute and fun, haha, <laughs> but. And then we get this uh, fun little, fun little doodad that I believe we've only seen like one time prior, maybe. Don't rush me. He's 5 plus B, gain power, power, class power for every scissor blades, deal 7% more damage for coagulated blood, back to 35%. After attack, consume all coagulated blood. The unbreakable coin. This coin does not break upon clash loots. If an attack skill has this coin, the attack of this coin after you fully gotten hit upon Clash Loose, fix the coin power of the unbroken coin to one. So you always do like base damage. You effectively like don't gain any benefits off flipping the coin, but you can't stop this. Heads hit, inflict eight bleed. It's still a 50-50, but you are going to be bleeding most likely. Zoom up to five scissor blade, deal more damage, 100% deal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter, ammo, space power, full cool power, you know, usual stuff. Here's the re really neat thing. Starved and withered. Gain withered. Starved for blood for a long, long time. Who's 15 offense level and 15 defense level. That is the equivalent of five clash power. That is a massive decrease to how strong these things should be. Like, five is such a big number. Like, you see how this rolls in eight, eight to 17? A five would make this at 13 to 22, which is obscene. 
and that's the kind of swings that she has. So this is a three, four, four. So that's four, eight, and then you add the three, makes it 11. This would be a 16 instead, which is obscene. But because she's losing that, it'll be four, eight, 11, minus five, makes this roll a six. In a vacuum, of course. Obviously, they're, they're clearly power skilled to still be fair enemies for our level. But it just goes to show what is going on with them for them to be this weak. <laughs> target is fleet healed by 20% of the damage dealt. After attack, the target is 5 plus being gained coagulated blood. Prioritize targets with bleed. If the unit fails to the damage, keep right on offensive love. Heal 5 SP to death. If the unit is on the field, or is one of the units that can appear on the stage, increase blood feast value by the amount of bleed damage collectively received by every unit. When this unit enters the field, the steeping blood drenching the battlefield will surface. Very cute. And two plus blood, see, but you fix 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 panic, recover blood, bloodthirsty, yeah, killer. All right. We wrath around these parts. We can't do a full one, but that's fine. Or we ran envy around these parts. Oh, well, I'm not going to get the counter off if she's staggered. Yeah. So as much as I hyped up the Blood Fiend thing, she's just kind of like a normal enemy. He's not even like a named entity. But that that's just a general overview of what Blood Fiends do, you know? We uh, may or may not be fighting more of those in the Blood Fiend land, you know? Maybe. There's no post battle. Oh, shit. This just keeps going. We're in the discussion at the battle that found Limbus Company and Don Quixote. Well, we just keep going. Shit, alright. I can get behind that. No need for talking. No need for thinking. Just get violent. Hey, we're starting with the blood fiend, so now it's getting a little bit more interesting. Fights are getting a little bit more, a little more complex, a little more involved. How fun! Ow! See, now we get to do. Oh, no, never mind. We don't get to do shit. I'm not gonna be able to get the counter off it. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, like <laughs> that is so fucking hard. No, it just it just does multiple retribution or adjust vengeance, but envy. This skill gains one offense level by the highest residence divided by two. So that's part of the reason why there's an obscenely massive envy residence, which just skyrockets this thing's fucking offense level. Dias A Resonance is an Envy Resonance. Boosts the offense level gained by 50%. 
Gain double the offense level up if the effect is a focus encounter with 700 feet off. Well, you know what it is. Uh, I believe the target is defeated, one eye with the least SP heals, six SP. So you even get like team support out of it too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. I turned her into goop. Yeah, you can see blood beans are kind of just starting to pour in now. We got a whole smattering of them. Oh wait, this is uh same fashionista. This is mad fashionista. I don't think they really do much different. They may have a slightly different did you rat bastard? Yeah, you know. Slightly different, but like, you know. Blood fiends are blood fiends, and yes, I will be as racist about that as possible. They're fucking vampires. Fuck them. Yeah, this is when Ryoshi starts getting really stupid when she's in full charge for both. <laughs> she's a very fun addition to the NV team. She just gets bigger and bigger as the fight goes on until she randomly clicks Serious Skullbuster and something explodes. Nice. I was just free battle. Oh well, I'm sorry, you guys are gonna have to... up the tale of which the fallen blood fiends have failed to tell despite their best endeavors. Oh, I killed you quite a few times. There's actually a bunch of you. そう、乗り切るとかね。だが、こっぱろパートナー乗るすに散る길도 Don, I don't think that was very nice. 
I mean, she was probably going to lead us into a trap, but it still was kind of rude, though. Chapunga, <laughs> Yeah, I think you probably just pissed him off by doing that. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I can't can't even fall down too much. Let's be let's be frank here. Blood sucking bastards. Did you see what Elena did to the Vermilion Cross? Unfucking forgivable. Now let's go and kill more vampires. <laughs> man, we're flying through the nodes, man. It's almost like the entire last episode was primarily just plot and based on being murdered. Now we can just get to play fucking... No, man. I was gonna say, like, some, uh, the first game that popped into my head about killing vampires was uh, inexplicably vampire survivors, but no, that very, very poignantly not what happens in that game. Man, th th that was, like, such, like, a weird game. I was following vampire survivors for a real long time, but I don't know. Like, they finally released a final boss, and it was, like, worse than any of the prior content they had ever released for that game. I, I, it's been rare for a game for it to be, like, it wasn't even bad. It was just so anticlimactic, so bleh, nothing, that I've just, like, never touched the game since. It's not even like I disliked the rest of the game. It's just, like, that one particular moment where you're just like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's it? Oh, no, now you're making DLC to do something different. Oh. Okay. Has proceeded to never touch the game again. Like, I don't even feel particularly strongly about it. It's just the fact of life that I'm like, oh, well, I guess this is never happening again. Which feels extremely harsh when you say it aloud, but it's what happened. Which sucks, because Castlevania is super cool. Big, big Castlevania energy. Big ups. If only Castlevania wasn't owned by Konami. It's kind of weird how the Castlevania franchise went from extremely tightly designed, super punishing, like, arcade-type difficulty platformer with very concrete rules, very simple set of, like, movement mechanics, but very, very difficult. You gotta very much so, like, master your limited craft into super freeform, vaguely, vaguely RPG, uh... Here's a big ass labyrinth, go get him, son. Like, there's a reason why the the Vania in Metroidvania exists, and it's not at all where you would have assumed the OG Castlevania games would have gone. I mean, Castlevania 2 is kind of like that, but, you know, no one likes Castlevania 2 for a reason. <laughs> Oops. Oops, I killed them. Anyway, moving on.
It's extremely odd also to me that Castlevania has had its biggest resurgence in ever uh, because of a TV show, of all things. Like, you, you, you're you usually assuming that kind of, uh, that kind of a formula is a recipe for disaster. Like, if they came out and announced, like, a Mischief Maker show, I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't think it'd be good. I'd be very interested, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I would expect it to be, like, the fucking golden age. They didn't even make Castlevania games, they just made a TV show and said, fuck it, that's all we're doing. カセット。キーラの距離が一緒なんだ。ヒロ、ちゃんと刻む。古文ピタ。カットンソンジリだ。モバが一緒。距離ピタルンか。ヒロンパンシカル採用なんかかな。もうちょっと試合回ると泳
like let attacks from his mooks go through do a bunch of one side like ishmael could take an infinite amount of damage yep simply do better correct Yeah, just GPS him. Have, have fun. Kill good. Even use the base IDs if you have to. Have HBL pull aggro. That's what matters. Well, that's alright. Like, the next IDs we're going to get are probably going to be super plot relevant. So, fair that we're uh, stepping off the gas a little bit. You don't want to... You don't want to have to be given subpar IDs, you know? Some, like, irrelevant guff. Because, I mean, we already have the IDs for the stink dude. We have an ID for the Zwei lady. We have definitely not a spoiler ID coming up. Like, that's currently in the game and I don't want to talk about it. It's just spoilers. We have, uh... The fucking vampire hunter guy, whatever is it, Romero, even though we don't know much about him yet, we have a him ID, Hong lu has got him. You know, we can't, uh, it can't, uh, we don't got a whole lot more, more juice, unless we want, like, a Hugo ID, which, uh, admittedly, would probably be kind of funny. We must kill these dastardly blood fiends. Strike them down. Finished what? No, I actually have not finished part two yet. Real life has been a bitch to me. I can actually show you how far I've got. No spoilers. I, I'm also meaning about the ID that currently exists in the game, the part one ID. But that's for spoilers for the audience, because that, that's just being considerate. What do these guys got? Blood shooting! On death, blood feast plus 30. Gain two ego resources for the least own ego resource. Next turn, all allies gain 0.1 through all physical resistance. This effect can stack. Oh me, oh my. How novel and interesting. This can happen twice per turn, right? Activates two times per turn, yeah. So this should be able to just fucking murder all of them. Let's see. It's exactly the same kind of joke made when uh, Blade Lineage came out. Ah, uh, hello, Blood Fiend team. I'd like to welcome the newest Blood Fiend to the team, uh, Ring Yi Song. <laughs> As it was back in the day, I'd like uh, Ishmael to welcome to the crew of the Pequod uh, the entirety of the Blade Lineage. Because they work really well for Pride Reds, bullshit. <laughs> You know, you can't bleed if you're eternally staggered and killed until you die. I, I will say, me using what is effectively a mid a mid level bleed team is probably not good in the area where they have 166 juice. Probably not a good idea. I really wish they would also give me more gloom, because I could go for a fluid sack right about now. I thought these bastards were meant to be giving me resources. I can't do counter shit right now, because they'll stagger me. I will say, though, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen much, assuming, you know, part two. I have not finished part two yet, spoilers. I'm surprised we haven't seen much of anything related to the Vermilion Cross. 
I was expecting we were gonna get at least something. Maybe just like a passing message, like like a passing mention, you know? He's so cool, and we know like nothing about him. I wasn't really expecting to get anything about it, but it's something I've just like wanted. I just think he's so cool, man. I, I want to get the deets. I want Vermilion Cross to come back, even though he was a fucking not even. There, there wasn't even a scrap of a life left in his husk after whatever the hell happened in Ruina. So, uh, that's not happening. But man. He's so cool. Get fluid sacked. There is one enemy still alive, and it is one health. Ah, uh, no, they'll get out of this one alive. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm curious. What is... What is the corrosion? Oh, it deals sanity damage. Oh, fair enough. I didn't know what the corrosion for blood fluid sack even did. Yeah, that's actually fair. And the two attack power down next turn is not bad. Like, that's... That's actually really good. But, like, it, it's competing with base fluid sack, which is genuinely such a hard sell. No oh, fucking do it again. We need more health and sanity. <laughs> Why are you going so early on in the tier list? Like, bitch, you are the sl Oh my god, they're dead. I didn't get either of my counters. <laughs> I'm doing way too much damage. <laughs> Me trying to do counter play here in fucking an unfocused encounter is not happening. I'm so sorry for your loss of life. God. Yeah, this is how far I actually got into part two. I'm only 726 for a fact right now. The only time I've had to actually do part two was last night, and I fought. it was, it was, we just did this fight, I do believe, right? This is, oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Shit. I should not have scrolled away. I'm a loser. I think we haven't seen this one yet. Yeah, no, this should be. This, this should be right. Because we just did a fight. Ah. Uh, it's definitely hard for me to remember if I've seen a cutscene. Because it's like I've seen all of them like thrice now. It's like, oh no. I, I just have to assume. This is the post battle one. And I haven't done a post battle one in a bit. Is this the post-battle one? I think so. Yeah. This reads like a pre-battle one, but... Yeah. Okay. There you go. At least I think. Well, whatever. That's... That's... That's the rub. I'm gonna be honest, I could totally be, like, paid to be, like, an entertainer. In, like, a, a carnival that's paid to have people pretend to beat the shit out of me. That seems like it'd be funny. That's a career goal.
자, 사람을 해치는 못된 혈기들 그렇게 모두 지하로 쫓겨나게 되었습니다. Why is this like a shooting range? If they're meant to have clubs. How does that work? 그들은 인간들과 손가락을 걸고 약속했습니다. 함부로 인간의 피를 탐내지 않고 사이좋게 지내겠다고요. 왜냐면 평화만큼 좋은 건 없으니까요. 어. 그런데 이것 좀 보세요. 지하에 쫓겨난 혈기들이 슬금슬금 다시 지상으로 올라오려고 하네요. 몰래 인간들의 피를 마시라고 말이죠. And this has a gripping plot to follow. I gotta say, tightly paced, intricate narrative, complex characters and motives, but it but it like a at like a controlled rate, you know. Always constantly having up highs and lows to keep the viewer engaged, whilst not plodding along and feel like it's being a drag. Never hanging on, you know, plot beats for too long. Man, we could all learn something about. The, the Blood Fiend cardboard cutout lore. Storytelling. <laughs> Don't we all wish we could be a Blood Fiend cardboard cutoutist? Now let's start getting real violent with the very real and very actual vampires in front of me. Because they will try to kill me otherwise. I'm going in. It's like so unlikely that these counters actually go off for dawn in, in unfocused encounters like this. But I just, I keep wanting the dopamine hit of perfect envy line into two double counters. Like, like look at Don over here. I just a hundred to zero that man. And there's another one, and it gave Faust six damage. What if I did it again? I got bad luck with the coins, but... It, uh, okay, did not a hundred to zero, but it got real close if I had gotten better with the coins. But even still, the, the damage. On enemy left. I sure hope I can get another. Hey, I'm using Apple Lady because she's the. We don't have the best envy options, okay? She has an envy skill and an evasion. I probably never, because he was a jobber loser, and I don't know if anyone really cares. I don't even remember his name. Dude had a crossbow. That was the only really notable thing about him. But yeah, love co files. She has a she has an envy evade. She's an envy skill three, which isn't the best. But she also comes with hex stamp. She's got like three different methods of doing envy things, and I'm like, yeah, all right. It's because I mean Faust is still Faust, so she always has hex nail. But her having an actual envy skill and an envy evade that I can force. But, but better Lop Kofaust doesn't have envies. This is an envy team. This is not about Faust being good. This team is about Dawn being good. Dawn is the main character of this team because it's an envy team. 
Dawn hits the fattest enemy counters on the planet, and therefore this is her canto. She's allowed to be the main character. It's fine. It was written in the rules, in the bylaws. ちょっと格好落ちんだ。はい。ね、ちゃん、ね、だらそっちょり。へい。ああ、ちょっと気の悪いか。いや、ちょっと Now, the fan base at large regards Dawn as the main character. They are unfortunately very mistaken. Even in Dawn's own counter, I don't. Yeah, Dawn's own count. Dawn's own canto. I don't want Dawn to be the main character. But it's nice, therefore I've done. How righteous. Every every turn end, gain one haste, three offense level up, and three defense level down next turn. Uh, gain two offense level up every three cumulative turns, max six. A class one heal three SP. On kill, gain one class power. So she's being a big pissy bitch and fucking hates vampires. Extremely based, but you know. <laughs> Man, I killed a lot of blood fiends. How many do you think they got in this place? They gotta be running low soon. So we'll probably have like what, like five, maybe six blood fiends in here. That can't be. It can't be too many. You know, it's just gotta be reasonable. It is still novel though that each of these blood fiends is. They're clearly meant to be some jobber shitter, because there's a lot of them. But, like, with the way that we've learned about how their family system works, they're only allowed to have two kids. So they can't just, like, keep sprouting out new ones. So these are probably, like, eight tier kindred, something like that. But, like, even then, they have to have a minus 15 offense level bullshit to make it, like, a fair enough fight. I miss rolling. I meant like these like jobber ones in play. I just picked a number. <laughs> I'm still waiting to see a color of the term white. Because we've had multiple shades of red. You know, red, vermilion, obvious. Then we've had blue, which is pale. Pale can be like a bunch of different colors, but then we also have black. We have, um... It's like the Indigo Elder. We have the Blue Bastard fucking... Uh, from Ruina. So we've got a few different, and we haven't. We even have the pale Quillin, who was only ever mentioned once. He took the actual term pale. So we've got multiple blue adjacent, and then we have black. But we've never had anyone under the term white, because it's the final color not represented. Yeah. No, I knew that. I'm just saying, like, it's it's impressive that their job are shitters. Like, we- this is, again, another encounter we logistically should not be able to win.
행복한 미소가 꽃피는 곳 모두 함께 꿈꾸는 자유로운 라마찰드가 탄생하게 되었습니다 Why are the blood beans not allowed to drink here? Lord. Oh yeah, alright, fair enough. You've answered all of my questions. No. Like, th there's no way they'd be able to win. Just because of what we know about... Oh, not juice. No. If only I had a hundred boxes and... Oh, I've already used the, the big refill today. Or the cheap one. Oh, I guess I will have to use boxes. No. No! I'm saving these! Just because of what we know about, like, uh, if the head actually up. mobilized properly, like the straight up citywide apocalyptic bad ending in Love Co., uh, the director has gone on record saying that the head would fix that in about two weeks. So, no. I don't think the Blood Fiends would win. They've definitely fucked like a lot of shit up. Also, listen to this song. God, it's so good. I don't even want to like talk over it, it's so good. No, I lost. I mean, I also am a big fan of the fact that Blood Fiends, at least the, the mooks in this area, just inexplicably fight with scissors. Like, I I do enjoy any time there's like a fantasy setting where there's a weapon that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Because it's clearly like a half a scissor. So it's just a sword, but like, it's, it's such a cool theme, like, fuck me. I love a normal object or thing that should not be a weapon being turned into a weapon. Like, man... Like, like I know it's the iconography, like, scythes are clearly not meant to normally be weapons. They're meant to be farming tools. But fuck me if they're not the coolest goddamn thing on the planet. Fighting with scissors is super stupid. But it is the coolest shit ever. Like, even some of our team. Harpooner Heathcliff has just a spear stapled to his arm. That's not like a- that is a fishing tool. You are not meant to stab people with that. And there he goes. Uh, if you meet- if you do, like, actual, like, OG type design wise yeah it's very clearly but like the modern interpretation where it's like fully uh fully perpendicular to the ground 
or parallel to the ground, perpendicular to the blade, instead of being at that, like, offset. Like, the offset version is clearly a farming tool. But the one that, like, the Grim Reaper holds is clearly meant to invoke, oh god, oh jeez, death comes, you know? It, it's definitely very striking, and I, I very much so respect it. Ow. Like, I'm trying to think, like, I've spent, like, a, a decent chunk of this trying to be, like, what other examples can I think of off the top? Because I know I've seen at least one series where a dude fought with just a big fucking fork. That one wasn't as cool, though, but that's just, like, a pride in it at that point. Like, that doesn't really count. I do like me some non-conventional weapons, though, at the end of the day. It really, it really cuffs me. It tickles me pink. I mean, it really kind of depends on the series, too. Like, if we want to go that route, like, fucking Hunter x Hunter, your main method of combat is fucking rock, paper, scissors, and I'm just shit, like, shit, man, that's cool as fuck. That's, is that a method of combat? No! Is it cool? Yes! <laughs> That's why, I, I, even if it's like basic too, it just depends on how like accessible it is. It's like why my favorite unit in like most Fire Emblem games is just the default generic soldier, just foot unit. And it's because you like never get them. You get your princely bastard with a sword, you get knights and cavaliers on horses, you get your heavy armored, you never just get man. Just dude in armor on foot holding a spear. They're normally green units in the Fire Emblem games. And anytime I can get a basic ass soldier, they are 1000% in my fucking team. Ugh. Well, I'm never, like, a big fan of just, oh, this protagonist wields another sword. Oh. Great. Like, it... Even do a wield them. Like, come on. Get a second one. Please. I didn't even look at... There's, like, a unique blood bag, I guess, in this fight. I didn't need... Like, I was looking for it, and I didn't see it. But, you know. Eh. Like, I can't give credit to some series, though, like Naruto. They just fight with swords and knives. They just call them different things. Like, a kunai? Don't fucking come at me with that shit. That's just a knife. And you can throw knives all the same. Start throwing fucking big energy balls in the sky, damn it. That's what I'm about. Yeah, I know kunai is a real thing, but it's, it's the implementation. Like, early on in Naruto, they fight, they throw, like, the fucking child-sized shuriken, the Fuma shuriken, and all of a sudden the fucking dopamine receptors start hitting different. But it's gotta, you gotta have that later. Like, Heathcliff fights with a baseball bat. He's my favorite sinner. <laughs> Lamanchalendes 
사라진 라마처럼 완성되었습니다. 이렇게 혈기들과 인간들은 서로 사이좋게 지내며 매일 축제를 벌이며 살게 될수 있을 겁니다. 이번 모험가님은 잔인하고 못된 혈기들을 총... 아, 아, 중간에 새는 걸 까는 것같 <laughs> we got him! Yeah! Woo! Eventually, we did it. We saved the town. Uh, we need like a. I need like a list of the sinners. Being like, what weapons do they all use? Yi Song fights with a knife. Not particularly exciting. He also fights with a book inexplicably, like he's trying to be Zexian. You know. All right, fair enough. Then we have Faust, two-handed Zweihander. Not what I would have expected from her proportions. That's big sword for a small lady. Fair enough. I can at least respect the two-handers. At least it's different enough. Don Quixote, big fucking lance. Not my particular flavor, but respectable enough. Uh, Ryoshu, sword, boring. She never draws it. She just hits them with the sheath. Fine. There's at least some flair there. If you're gonna do boring, do something to make it interesting. Merso, bare fists. He's got gauntlets. Classic. Can never go wrong with it. Honglu has a pole arm. Fine enough, you know. It's just a big stick with a big pointy metal bit at the end of it. Can't be too upset about that. Heathcliff, best sinner. And we have... Ishmael, who fights with an axe and shield like she's a fucking... Viking? Wait, no, that's Rodion. What is... No, she fights with a mason shield. Way less exciting. Still, very big ape energy with that particular weapon combination. Very respectable. Rodion, one-handed small axe, like she's trying to cut through wood. She just picked up a bladed object and started attacking you with it. Extremely respectable. Sinclair, where did he even get this thing? It's like a Hong Lu, but way scarier. <laughs> it's like the size of him. Otis, small sword dagger kind of thing, except it's also inexplicably a gun. I think we're going a little too far with Otis. And we have Gregor. He's just got his own problems. I feel that I would feel like wrong at like a emotional level to grade him. Overall, very respectable cast of weapons. Thumbs up for me. Forgot you, Gilbert. 
낮은 확률도 아니죠. 저희는 그 확률을 뚫고 버튼을 누를 수 있게 된 거예요. 정보를 사? 그게 무슨 말이죠? 브리핑에서 나온 정보 외에 생존자들의 증언이 더 있었다는 건가요? <웃음> 여러분들 몰라도 너무 모르시나 라만차랜드에서 생존해온 해결사들이 왜 고지고대로 귀중한 정보들을 하나협회에게 제공하겠어요? 당연히 쓸모있고 값진 정보들은 소수에게만 담합리에 파는 거죠 일구역의 장치를 가동시키기 위해서는 그 어트랙션에서 등장하는 피주머니들을 모조리 죽이고 1등을 차지해야만 나온다고 했어요 왜 그런 정보를 미리 이야기하지 않은 거지? 저, 서로 신뢰를 쌓는 시간이 필요했던 것 뿐이죠 뭐, 난 이해해 비싼 돈 주고 정보를 사셨을 테니 마, 맞아요 그런데 이렇게 수월하게 임무가 끝났던 적이 있었던가? 좋게 생각하면 이걸로 얼른 일구역을 벗어나서 다른 분들에게 합류할 수 있겠어요 혈기와 피주머니에 대한 정보는 그리 만연하지 않다 익숙치 않은 자가 이곳에서 제한 시간 동안 많은 피주머니를 제거하는 경합을 한다면 1등을 하기 힘들었을 가능성이 있다 그것도 일리가 있네 이봐 순순히 나머지 정보들도 다 풀어라 신뢰는 충분히 쌓았겠지 어딘가에는 반드시 마주치면 안 되는 혈귀들이 세 마리가 있어요 관리자 혈귀들이라는데 살아남을 확률을 높이고 싶다면 그세 마리와 마주치는 건꼭 피하라고 하더라고요 한 구역당 한 명씩 있다는 모양이에요 하지만 조건에 그들까지 죽이고 오라는 말은 어디에도 없었잖아요 라만차랜드 토벌과는 상관없으니까 아마도... 그러니까 안 마주치는 게 제일 좋을 거예요 우리는 이 버튼만 빠르게 누르면 그럴 순 없네! 해결사요! 지금도 죄 없는 방문객들은 모두 이곳에서 고통받고 있지 않은가? 이곳을 관리하는 세 마리의 혈기들을 모조리 물리치고 그 죄값을 치르게 하는 것이 합당한 도리이지 않겠는가? 수사, 좀 말려봐요. 당신들 친구잖아요. 말릴 수 있었을 때 말려줬던 건 얼마나 좋았을까. 나와라! 이 극악무도한 혈기놈! 이 돈키호테가 손수 결판을 내리라! 음, 혹시 그세 명의 혈기들은 생김새 특징 같은 게 있었어? 이거는 200만 아니나 주고 얻은 정보인데 이 제일 화려한 가면이요 <웃음> 재밌다 일주일 중에 제일 재밌었어 관리자 혈기들은 구역에서 제일 화려한 가면을 쓰고 있다고 그는 피냄새도 제법 화려한가 보 너희들 누가 돈 곁에야? 내가 눈이 좀 침침해진 지가 꽤 되어서 말이야 때마침 나타나셨네요 <웃음> 내말안 들려? 내가 만든 이 어트랙션에서 1등을 한 동키어테가 누구냐니까? 가면이 알려주면 나머지 사람들은 보내줄게 버튼을 누르고 다음 구역으로 갈수 있도록 
돈키어테가 누구인지만 알려준 겁니다. 마리아! 본! 이자입니다 이제 된 거죠? 버튼을 눌러도 되는 거죠? <웃음> 구역의 정치를 가동한 해결사는 월급을 정산할 때 1.5배 더 받을 수 있다고! <웃음> 눌러보던가, 버튼. 저런 머저리 동료로 둔적 없다. 그, 그건 그런 내만 냄새부터 배신할 놈이었지. 혹시나 방식의 독창성이 있을까 기대했다. 이런 지졸한 클리시 참아줄 수가 없. 내 놀이에서 1등을 한 돈키오테가? 그런 일만 해. 어떻게... 어떻게 1등을 했어? 공경에 갇힌 이곳의 수많은 사람들을 구하고 정신 같은 악연을 해치우기 위해서 모조리 해치웠어. 왜... 왜 자꾸 그렇게 웃는 것인가? 너무 기쁘니까 어땠어? 역시 내가 만든 놀이기구가 제일 재밌지 원래는 저기 장식을 더 달고 옷에도 레이스를 더 붙이려고 했는데 어, 시간이 없었어 우리 피주머니들은 내가 일일이 옷을 갈아입혀줘야 하는데 복잡한 옷은 다 찢어지지 뭐야 끔찍한 소리를 잘도 짓거리는군 본인은 이곳에 놀러 온 것이 아닐세! 사람들을 잡아가는 라만 차린들을 토벌하고 끔찍한 악당들을 모조리 처단시키기 위해 왔네! 그런데! 왜 내가 만든 옷을 안 입고 왔어? 예의에 한참 어긋났잖아! 내 구역으로 놀러 올 거였으면 좀더 그럴듯한 모습을 하고 왔어야지! 뭐야, 아까부터 대화가 아예 어긋난 느낌인데? 제정신이 아닌 듯한데 얼른 해치워줘 <웃음> 너는 탕탕 드레스에 리본 달린 부츠를 신으면 어울리겠다 내가 진짜 어울리게 만들어줄 수 있는데 오 oh, alright I don't. I mean, the implication presumably is that Hugo isn't dead. They just cut his his hands off. I mean, you know, I'm a firm Hugo believer. I need to be like 48 on average. I'm a loser. You know, Hugo. Fine. I believe in Hugo. He's a good person to me. I mean, you know, if 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 he was left to bleed. And then here's a song that is not as good in my opinion, but I'll let it play.
Yeah. I, I'm not a big fan of the wub wubs, you know what I mean? I like techno, but this goes a little too much into the it's just kind of noise territory for me. I like this bit, though. Also, I fucking love the fact that her, like, weapon is... It, it is actually both sides of the sword, but you can clearly see one of them is being enhanced by blood. So it, it, it's scissors, but, like, one part of it is the extra part that makes it still function as a sword. It's so fucking cool. Because, of course, she starts with ten of this. It's a stage two blood tinge scissor. Turn start, gain one offense level up, and one level would level down for every five stack. But she's starting off with a big, big mode version. Anyway, what's her deal? This, uh, third kindred who is also withered even harder. She's withering harder than any of the other ones. A tier three. 25, 25. Cut you all up all pretty. Target is plead, clash power, so plead and reuse coin if the blood tint scissor blades stage see like it's part of the content and the add. Stage minus one. So she's at stage two, so therefore she's gonna reuse the coin one. Cute. Consume and then the blood feast, that isn't even done yet. Gain a blood tint scissor, heal three 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 blood consume. You know, usual usual stuff, you know, plead count, snip, you know, usual stuff. Ah, but what's this right here? Sewing target. Oh, we'll, we'll wait to see how she applies that first. We'll have to wait and see. Ah, an unbreakable coin. Uh, gain attack wake for every stage of blood's hinge scissor blade. Consume blood fest to gain more. You really want to keep blood low, because it keeps all of her shit rolling. But this is unbreakable. On hit, inflict a deep wound. Gain three bleed counts and trigger bleed on self, then lose one bleed count. So it's forcibly making you take bleed damage, even if you're trying to avoid it via light guarding. It's making you bleed. It's so fucking cool. Uh, and it inflicts five bleed and two count. So with a deep bleed, this would be a 5-5, five, five, then it decreases to a 5-4. Oh my lord. That's so much bleed. Unbreakable coin, inflict a deep wound, and sewing target. Sewing target, prioritized by mysterious woman. Fires the turn in. That's all sewing target does. Makes you be targeted. Ah, and this is where the fun begins. Look at all these unbreakable coins, and if you notice, this thing gains fucking attack weight. Isn't that fun? Don't you don't you love a Library of Ruina style mass attack that you can't contest? My favorite. Ah, <sighs> inflict bleed counts. Yeah. Look at all that. On hit, deal 40% more damage for every blood tinge center blade. Max. 120% per stage. If this coin effect killed the target, heal by 50% of the damage dealt. So this is a mass attack that will hit you three times. That gains uh, currently 80% more damage that if it kills you, will heal her a shitload. Oh, okay. And she has a clashable counter too, because why wouldn't she? Flash four plus one for boosters, but it's uh, inflict four four <laughs> because of course it does. And uh, you know, I gotta prioritize the target with the least HP percentage. You know, targets that uh, thirty percent or less HP kill the target. Mm, oh no! Gain four fragile. Start with withered. Prioritize the throwing targets. If there's an enemy with thirty percent or less HP, use I don't need ugly things. Panic, recover from panic, and reset to zero when recovering from panic. Consume 30 blood feast, gain 2 attack bar up, and a blood tinge scissor blade. Heal 20 SP. If you fa failed to consume any blood tinge scissor blade, gain 30 bleed. Immediately take the damage from the bleed, then lose 3 bleed count. So this immediately generates 30 blood feast, effectively. Then gain 2 attack bar up and 2 damage up, and heal 20 SP. Next. Gain a new pattern at 40%. Upon change, gain 10 bleed and 2, two scissor blade. But blood feast. Oh, yeah. Um, this is just telling you how the stages work. So it's like, 
Every time you get a scissor blade, it'll be tier one. Then after you get ten, it converts into two, and then you get another ten, and it converts into three. It's just how it works. Some simple stuff, relatively. Hard blood scissor. I hit the target's bleed to heal this part and core by first one damage dealt. After attack, if you heal at least 100 HP, heal 10 HP. Effect not if you don't hit with an unbreakable point if it's less flash. Yeah, uh huh. Usual shit. Anyway, uh, she's big and fucking scary and loves gluttony, which, you know, that makes sense. And, of course, she's not weak to Envy. She's weak to other shit, just, you know, not Envy. Bitch. Huh. <sighs> okay, here we go. Not big. Got a good old enemy. Let's go. God, and this with her, and she's clashing at a level that's like pretty damn fierce because she's a boss at minus twenty five fucking offense level. Jesus Christ. Still, still how righteous. He has not changed. Uh, here come the unbreakable coins. She's at stage two, she's twelve. And this is the amount of blood feast consumed. Just to let you know, in case you're wondering, she's at twenty consumed thus far. Very, very cool and cute. Big fan. But it makes the fact that I'm doing the uh Envy team even worse. Because it relies on counters, which means it needs her to actually get a hit in on me. Which is, uh, very bad uh, under normal conditions. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't want to be hit by the woman that does bleed and then proceeds to scale 13 different ways via bleed. And also while I'm using a bleed team... <laughs> <laughs> it's just about one of the worst decisions one could make. But here we go. That's life. I kind of forgot Lobko Faust was fucking a poise ID. Uh, hey, guess who has the sewing target? Yeah, um... If the target has sewing target, clash power plus five. So, never let Snip clash with, uh, the intended recipient. It doesn't end well. Also, I have low rolled my speed. It's not... Not particularly good, and she's nowhere near a stagger threshold, so, uh... Ow. So we're gonna be getting, uh... 4, 8, 12, 16 bleed, you know, reasonable, assuming I win every clash. Huh. So if there was ever a time to click this button... So many people remember that I had that ability. And now, she's clipping their soak and play the fucking game. There we are. See, it's nice to calculate you all of your clashes before you get to the absolute resonance phase. So all of the clashes I previously accounted for are now just even more likely for me to win. Feels good. 
It's a nice sensation. Ah, uh, so yeah, this is when the attack weight problem starts becoming a big fucking problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we really need to win these clashes in particular. For the best! It's not like I get a say in the matter, there's unclash of there's unbreakable coins in the mix. But you know, try for the best. So this is the big one. No matter what, she's gonna do something. Unless I can stagger her, but yeah, not happening. Luckily, we won the Clash, so that didn't hit particularly hard, but she still, you know, inflicted us with a bunch of bleeding, did damage, healed, so on and so forth. Like, it's not good. Like, look at that. Faust is getting fucked. Because of those mass attacks, it staggered those two. And thus, the snowball begins, you know. Faust is going to die via, via bleed damage because she has multiple deep wounds which will trigger bleed, a la like it's burn. And that was just effectively unavoidable damage. This is when the game really starts to feel like, because they've had this chain system for a, 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 few, a little bit now, but it's always felt like the, the units that you bring in are pretty much never needed because like, don't have units die, obviously. Uh, it really feels like this fight in particular is the, yeah, some units are gonna die, and it's kind of outside of your control. Not inherently, like, I have actually had attempts this fight where no one dies, like, it is doable. But it's like, they're really fighting you on that concept. Because despite the fact that, you know, she used the big attack and all of my units are gonna die, she's real close to that stagger threshold. And when we tag in new units, they get a big burst of SP. So they're still ready to go immediately upon tagging in. So it feels to me like they're they're fiddling with the system a little bit. So this this attack will kill Faust if I do not stagger. That's just another symptom of the if it really feels like they're trying to kill your damn ass units. Come on, stagger her. Oh, yeah. Barely alive. So now, if I don't heal Faust, Faust is going to die. But I don't really have any good method of healing on these teams. Because this can heal SP. And, um... That's... That's it. So, uh, we'll send it. Yeah. We'll just do big envy and, uh, plus Merso. You know what? We'll, we'll bind her for next turn, just in case. The multitude does tighten its hold. Who knows what she's gonna do next turn. But this will get me a ton of damage onto her this turn, because stagger is good. And the next turn, she'll be weakened, and I can hopefully just instantly stagger her again. You know? Goodbye, Faust. That's the, that's the tentative game plan right now. Godspeed. Oh, hey! Uh, the, the fucking final boss has joined the fight. Forgot I brought him, didn't you? 
I brought him because he has a good passive. I don't need ugly things. Heathcliff, getting a little scary. Staggered. Nice. Easy game. Not even close. Now we just need to kill as best as we possibly can. Hey, what if the multitude tightened its hold again? <laughs> And I have a serious Skullbuster and a Sanguine Point to lose coming. I think I win. The fight's over now, but you know. What's his damage? She had 500 health, that just did 350 damage. And that just did the rest of it. Yeah. Ah, uh, Power Creep isn't real, it's fine. Ibarsan 관리자 혈귀는 구역당 한 명이라고 했는데 다른 구역을 담당하는 혈귀일까요? 하지만 지금 왜? 차, 그놈이 배신하기 전에 더 유용한 정보들을 남김없이 털어버렸어야 했는데. 젠장 처음 구역에서부터 대장 같은 혈귀 두 마리랑 싸우게 하는 건좀 너무한 거 아니야? 음. <웃음> 확실히 그렇군요. 여러분은 여기 이발사를 상대하느라 더 힘이 빠진 상태이기도 하고요. 그럼 이렇게 하는 게 어떨까요? 당신은 수많은 모험을 하고 돌아온 자. 하지만 저는 보다시피 행복한 미소와 꿈이 가득한 세계. 이곳 라만차랜드에서 손님들을 맞이하는 안내자일 뿐. 
당신의 멋진 모험담을 들려주시고 나면 순순히 길을 열어드리도록 하죠 당신들이 찾고 있는 보물이 있는 곳으로 이번엔 길을 잃지 않도록 그게 아니라면 당신이 어, 이곳에서 수십 마리의 혈귀들을 죽이고 있진 않을 테니까 안 그렇습니까? 본인이 다 말하기에는 입 아플 정도로 위대한 모험을 하고 온 자인 것은 맞다네 하지만 거친 수작 부리지 말게나 보물을 찾는 것도 물론 중요하지만 이놈 같은 악한 혈기를 물리치기 위해 본인은 이곳에 왔으니 이 돈큐테 악당과 타협하지 않을 걸세 <웃음> 그럴 줄 알았어요 하지만 그러면 안 돼요 당신은 모두에게 말해줘야 하거든요 누구보다 멋진 당신만의 모험담을 그게 무슨... Well, I think that's a good, uh, a good break point. Let me go, uh, I'm going to use the restroom real fast. <laughs> I am going to be right back once this loads. Okay. Oh, that's all right. I'm to turn it down. But yes, that was the barber that we just fought. That was her. Thought we would have been a little more important, but, uh, you know. That's fine. Anyway, I'll be right back on the mystery simmer.
So, fun fact. That's not actually the end of part one. One would assume, because it was like, oh, that was the boss fight, very clearly. Like, that was the big, big, big twist of a... Of an ending land, big old cliffhanger, but no. No, it just keeps going. To the shock of me when I was doing it in real life. When are we unlocking this identity? もう、<笑><笑> 하얀 달의 기사는 단지 배역일 뿐이죠. 하얀 달의 기사. 좀 비슷했나요? 음, 아무래도 제가 이 배역을 맡는 게 마음에 들지 않다는 표정이군요. 마침 아직 제대로 새기지 못했지만 가능성을 품은 배우가 이 자리에 있으니. 이 하얀 달의 기사 배역은 당신에게 드리죠. 응? 저 저요? 무대 위에 올라간 배우처럼 저자가 이야기하는 동안에는 연기를 멈출 수 없는 것 같네요. 이, 이거 괜찮은 거야? 둘은 전설로만 들려오는 강을 찾고 있었죠. 그 길을 알고 있는 건 하얀 달의 기사뿐. 동키호테는 그저 뒤따라갈 뿐이었죠. 이런. 정확히는 로신한테도 있으니 셋이었군요. 발걸음 소리도 제각각이었습니다. 기사는 터벅 터벅. 로신한테는 위풍당당. 당신은 음, 비트 비트. 그곳은 누구의 발걸음도 닿지 않는 곳이라. 도시의 가장 깊은 곳에 있고 많은 모험가이자 기사이자 해결사들이 도전하였던 고요하고 끔찍할 정도로 평화로우며 오로지 별구름만이 떠다니는 곳 조금만 더 가면 도착이에요 그 강을 찾고 나면 당신이 앞으로 묻게 될 곳도 제가 이끌 거예요. 아무도 오지 않아요. 버려진 등대. 그곳에서 머물고 계세요. 아, 어, 지낼 곳까지 마련해 주다니. 감동스러울 정도로 충실한 친구군요. 알겠네! 
아니요. 당신은 말이 없었습니다. 어째서일까요? 벅차오르는 기대감 때문이었을까요? 이런 모험담의 첫 장식으로는 다소 밋밋한 이야기였습니다. 박진감 있게 가보죠. 다음 이야기로 넘어가 볼까요? 움직일 수가 없잖아! 이 연극의 흐름에서 당장 벗어날 방법은 없다. 이 모험은 돈키호테가 이뤄낸 수많은 모험 중 하나입니다. 위대한 모험가 돈키호테는 많은 마을을 돌아다녔죠. 그러다가 양떼 목장 마을에 당도하게 되었습니다. 양떼 목장 마을이라 그 마을은 참혹하게도 도적대에게 핍박받고 있었다네. 주민들의 얼굴에는 궁금한이 가득했지. 그래서 본인이 무슨 일이냐고 주민에게 물었더니. 맙소사, 당신은 금방에 이름을 날리던 용감한 모험가 동키호테 아닌가요? 제발 고통받고 있는 저희 마을을 구해주세요. 이럴 수가! 마을의 사람들이 전부 도적들로 인해 고통받고 있군. 이 동키호테! 앞에 보이는 악인의 행패를 그냥 눈 감고 넘어갈 수는 없다! 안심하게! 내 모든 걸 걸고 맹세하지! 저 도적들을 마을에서 내쫓아주겠노라고! 하지만 저들은 고작 모험가님 한 명이서 해치우기엔 너무나 많아요! 걱정 마시게! 지금까지 이 돈키호테가 해내지 못한 모험은 없었으니 그렇지 않은가? 아... 어, 잠깐... 잠깐만요. 뭔가 이상하지 않나요? 아, 무엇이 말이요? 자꾸 누구한테 말을 거시는 걸까요? 하얀 달의 기사? 아니, 용맹한 말 로신한테? 그것은 당연히 로신한테 아니겠는가? 본인은 로신한테와 함께 여행을 다녔지. 로신한테는 무엇과도 바꿀 수 없는 소중한 동료였다네. 그렇지 않은가, 로신한테? 오 예. 맞아요, 동키호테. 그래. 지금 말로 표현한 거야? 자, 모두 모험담에 집중해 주세요. 그러지 않으면 도적대가 너무 많아서 용감한 모험가 동키호테도 보전을 면치 못할 테니. 그 말대로 도적들은 수가 너무 많았지 마을 사람들이 염려한 대로 쉽지 않은 싸움이었다네 동표태님 정말 이 계획이 성공할까요? 아니면 다른 좋은 방법이라도 있단 말이냐 로신한테요 아니 제가 생각이랄 게 있나요 저는 모험가에 대해 동표태님만큼 알지 못하는걸요 나답게 행동하겠네 로신한테요 두려워하지 않는 것 말일세! 그래도요... 적들의 숫자는 저희보다 많은 게안 보이시나요? 물러나는 것은 달아나는 것이 아니고 위험이 희망보다 앞설 때는 발길을 멈출 줄 아셔야 합니다. 저런... 로신한테는 돈키호테만큼 용감하지 못했던 모양이에요. 거기다가 협조적이지도 않았답니다. 한낱 말... 아니, 신발일 뿐이면서 말이죠. 아이... 예, 조용히 해라, 로신한테! 자기 주인을 이토록 피직 잡는 신발이 세상 천지 어디 있단 말이냐! 내가 저자들과 맞서 싸울 용기를 내게 보여주지 못해서 그러는 것인가? 돈키호테, 
이제라도 로신한 테게 증명하리라. 그렇게 이 돈큐테는 유례가 없는 치열한 일전을 벌였다는. 도망치지 마라, 이 뛰어난 겁쟁이들아! 하여 이 몸은 전력을 다해 렌스를 찌르고 또 찔렀지. Kind of fucked up to just like stab away at people. Gone. But man, nice place we got here, isn't it? Man, very pretty. You know, I'm starting to see the uh, Don Quixote in the midst of all this Don Quixote. You know what I mean? <laughs> you were all probably wondering what the fuck this enemy was. Well, now we know. Come, oh God, let us venture forth. Oh, me, oh, my. Bastards. <laughs> no good bandits. <laughs> They're poised to be paralyzed. Just stump. Plain old villainy. Bullying. Targets the weak. Damage dealt minus 10%. Loser. On Clash, we inflict the weak. Loves bullying the weak. Clash power plus one when attacking the weak. Man. Anyway. Oh, wait, no, we don't have enough shit. Well, I guess we're not weak this time. For now. There's apparently 12 of these damn cut and board cut out and bastards. Look how cool their fucking swing animation is, though. God damn. When's this guy joining the park? No, Gregor's the horse. It's gotta be like Heathcliff. Heathcliff is definitely the closest of any of the sinners to be a no good bandit. I'm being attacked to death by bandits. <laughs> Did you actually, like, fucking... Did you just grab that from another reveal, or did you fucking Google Translate? That bitch just have something to do with goddamn bandits. I don't know what the fuck it actually says in those goddamn... In those... Identity extractions, because I don't care. Because it's in Korean normally, but now I'm curious. Ah, uh, fair enough. Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just the no good bandit. Yeah, alright, I can, I can feel it. Sounds accurate enough to me. Won't kill him. Kill this guy, Blastoise. Well, fuck, uh, fucking wizards at it again.
Yup. You think it's done yet? No, no, no. We got a post battle cutscene too. We're not done yet. <laughs> we save we did it we've saved the village i have to wonder if places like this world even exist anywhere in the damn city like clearly fiction of it exists but like and they have to farm from some we've seen like forests and greenery but that was in a nest you know could super rich people just choose to live like this or is like i don't know o corp i, I don't know i picked the letter i don't know if we know anything about o corp it's fucking like o corp agriculture it's a bunch of hillbillies and hicks Yeehaw! <laughs> Tonelpatko, Yeah. I'm not reading the titles because I'm going to string them all like the, the, the title of each and every fucking... I'm just going to string it all together when we're about to be done. I think that'll be fun. Just to see it all in just an unbroken block of fucking Don Quixote text. <laughs> Rumuringa so <laughs> Ah, sorry. <laughs> I guess Sink Cliff can't be a bandit. He's too busy being a bear. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, 
해낼 수 있으시겠죠? 이 e a 베 b a 물론 꼭 저희가 우리의 적수가 되지 못할 거예요. Hacks all honey on bear clips. Oh no, we're gonna have to. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to kill this heat clip, Don Quixote. Oh no. <laughs> I think there might be one more node after it, but but fun fact, uh, this is the fucking end of part one. <laughs> so this is the real boss. The fucking bear, dude. No affinities. He's too big. How are we gonna take him? He does unbearable damage, so be sure to throw level up your unit. Oh god! He's a big, big scary bear! Grr, what's your rupture? It, why is he a rupture unit? Grr, if it's against my plus way rupture bleed. Listen, you saw it. Your fragile rupture bleed. On you, skin protection. Oh, can we stop now? Oh, can we stop now? It's a power up next turn. And an encounter of moderate difficulty. Deal 50% more damage. The man eating bear. That's 25% more damage against targets with less than 50% health. Big and scary. In a clash, the opponent just might lose one SP. But maybe. An actual bear. It eats people. How fearsome. Oh, fucking creature. Or where does one beast of such stature emerge? Oh no, I was big and scary. I lost the sanity. Oh no. I don't know the actual rate, but it is just random. Like, I didn't lose sanity there. But it's like one sanity sometimes. Unbearable sanity drain out here. Thinking wishes it could drain sanity this fast. It's weak to pierce, I guess. You can puncture the bear. Yeah. Oh, it's weak to just a lot of stuff. Uh, luckily, the game designers were humble and didn't make this an, an impossible challenge. Like, oh, it's not even a focused encounter. <laughs> this is being treated like a hallway fight. Oh. No. I've been defeated. Also, I love the idea that it's passive and encounter a moderate difficulty is like, this is how either in Limbus Land or in Don Quixote Dream Bear Land, this is how they do difficulty scaling is just how much damage it deals. So, of course, they're uh, awful and their damage setting is just a number pump. Oh, man. On normal mode, you take slightly more damage. On hard mode, you take a bunch more damage. Ugh. Great. Riveting. Please don't stagger up until I get my counter up there. Thank you. Oh no. New most wanted ID just dropped, Bear Clip. With Rochinante Gregor. Oh, I'm so sad. I can't believe Heathcliff is dead. He's been beheaded.
I can't wait for this combat tip. Every skill consists of at least one coin to inevitably be proven wrong. Eventually, they're going to have a zero coin skill. I'm waiting for it. It's just going to be like a passive or something. It's just like on turn start gain like 50 shield or some shit like that. I can't, I can't scroll. The game won't let, help, help, help me. We're free. Fair. And they absolutely, I should have not used Heathcliff because he was the bear. <laughs> we killed him. We've got the helm of Mambrino. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
저 같으면 그렇게 귀중한 투구가 있었다면 매일 쓰고 다녔을 텐데요. 안타깝지만 본인에겐 맞지 않아서 쓰고 다닐 순 없었네. 내 창고에 있지. 아마도? 저런... 귀중하게 얻은 보물일수록 소중하게 지키고 다니셨어야 할 텐데 언젠가 후회할 일이 없도록 그 다음 이야기에 대해서도 듣고 싶지만 지금은 이쯤에서 잠깐 할까요? 약속대로 이 구역으로 향하는 입구를 열어드리겠습니다 전 약속만큼은 누구보다 잘 지키는 혈기니까요 약속한 혈기 <웃음> 기대되네요 과연 다음 구역에 어떤 이야기가 여러분을 기다리고 있을까요 자 그럼 라만차는 내 다음 지역도 잘 즐겨주시길 정의로운 모험가 돈키호테 무슨 기술을 사용한 건지 몰라도 그대로 발이 얼어붙었어요 최면에 걸린 것처럼 이상식대로는 달랐죠 그 당시는 분명 대분과 함께 연기를 한다는 느낌이 강했어 저 혈기만의 특별한 능력인가? 라만차랜드 내부의 황금가지가 특정 수감자와 공명할 때 저자의 고유한 능력이 더해져 나타난 현상 같습니다 하지만 단테 아, 혈기는 놓쳤는가? 하지만 악독한 혈기에게 치명상을 입히는 데 성공하였고 목표했던 장치까지 가동할 수 있었으니 이 말하면 꽤 성공적인 성과 아니겠는가? 언젠간 꿈에서 깨어나야 할 때도 있는 법입니다 I do believe that is where part one ends. And while that would be a satisfying endpoint, I'm just going to make it so much worse and go one node into the next one. I don't have a whole lot of time left, and I don't want to get, like, firmly into the swing of the plot. That's bad pacing. But um, it's also too early to stop, so I think it's going to be funny to just do one node. <laughs> Plus this one's a little bit longer because you know it's it's this is the start of part two. So there's new new content. Wait. No. No no no. No 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 shit, wait, did it auto move us to the next one? I think it did. <gasps> Spoilers! It's a haunted mansion. I mean fucking like obviously that shit's gonna be here. That's not that's not a big spoiler. It's it's fine. Forgot the game fucking auto moves. It's god fucking god damn it.
Y'all didn't see shit. You're all still not seeing shit, like, on screen right now. It's a haunted mansion. We're in a carnival. Of course this place exists. It's full of vampires. It's a business. Yeah, there it is. See? Haunted mansion. Don Quixote is out here spoiling it. It's fine. It's not even a combat, it's just blind. Kugon,你个无名的人，我是，才没拉萨的，所以才不要拉萨。我们，现在，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我们，我
어, 여기 좀 특이한데. 아, 이거 좀 봐. 지도를 보니까 의무실이라는 곳도 있는 모양이야. 어트랙션을 타다가 다친 분들, 너무 놀란 분들, 혹은 피가 긴급하게 필요한 혈기 분들은 이곳에서 도움을 받으세요. 하, 참절한 문구구만. 라만차랜드는 혈기와 인간들이 행복하게 살수 있는 공간을 위해 만들어졌다고 했었죠. 이 지도 설명만 보면 그래도 옛날에는 어쩌면 그 뜻대로 되었을지도 모르겠다는 생각이 드네요. 그게 무슨 소리요? 제대로 되었을 리가 없지 않은가? 이런 건 돈큐테의 사전엔 있을 수 없는 모험이오! 악인들과 공생하여 행복하게 살아가는 장소라니! 그러다 보니 지크프리트님이 해결했던 사건 하나가 생각나는군! 그것은 다리 위에서 버렸던 전투였지! 그때도 악인들이 아주 간악한 제안을 했다고 하네 지크프리트님을 돈과 권력으로 압박하며 자신들과 한편에서라고 꼬드겼다지 하지만 우리 지크프리트님은 결코 이에 현혹되시지 않았네 가증스러운 잔을 내뱉는 악인의 얼굴에 슈퍼 펀치를 날려주면서 He did, uh, she didn't say that. I mean, I heard it, but she didn't say that. Sinclair，유령의집같은건가보네。啊，Sinclair，유령의집이라는거엔진짜유령이。잠깐，저도어렸을때가족들과놀이공원에가봤다고요。 그러니까 그런 식으로 놀린다고 제가 놀란다거나 그럴 일은 있냐고 물어보려고 했는데 난 놀이공원은 처음 와보거든. 허허. 저, 죄송해요. 에이 아니야. 그래서 진짜 유령이 나오는 거야? 보, 보통 엉성한 인형들이 나오는 게 전부일 거예요. 어린 아이들 또한 이용이 가능한 어트랙션이기에 실제 유령을 배치하진 않는다. 공포를 조성할 만한 장치가 있을 뿐. One, the implication that ghosts actually exist. Two, that one could somehow actually install one into a building. Just off the cuff. Very nice. Thank you, Merso. Well, there it be. You see, it's not quite as... Not quite as punchy. <laughs> but, you know, we can't just end off, you know, at the end where it's meant to be. I gotta make it weird and awkward. You see, that's still not a good, fun little cliffhanger for us. But, I do run low on time. And thus, we shall hang out in... Uh, the haunted do bura di meri next time but for now thank you all for coming bye bye <laughs>